When our children are, are really little, it can, be, it can be quite easy to control their intake. Um, we give them food. And, and remember that when children are really little, they don't ask for sugary, fatty, salty treats. Uh, we choose to give them what it is that we have available or the things that we see as treats. So that's something to remember for the little ones. But it can be difficult and it can be really, really different when uh, they get a bit older. And one of the things that can happen is they're mobile, they can reach, they know where we keep things, they will sniff out those ice creams in the fridge, they will sniff out those treats for another time or gifts that have been brought over to the house. And um, something that you can use is called directed discussion. So directed discussion is a really simple kind of non-conflict way to approach um, impulse eating. So it could be sitting your child down and talking about what the problem is. The problem may be, um, Sarah, you have a tendency to go to the presses and take what you want. And dinner's coming up in an hour, or we've already had a treat, or Sean, um, you, you go to the freezer and you take ice creams without asking. Um, so why is that a problem? Have a little discussion about why it's a problem. It's, it's, it's you're not managing your sugar intake. Uh, it's not a healthy way to eat. Dinner is coming up soon, so you've ruined your appetite for dinner. And, uh, and it's breaking a rule. It's breaking a rule that we have in our house. And our rule is you ask for treats. You don't just go and take treats, you ask for treats. So that is the rule. So um, the next time you uh, go and take treats without asking, I'm going to remind you of the rule. So will you remember what the rule is? And then he'll say back to you the rule. Yeah, the rule is I'm supposed to ask for treats. Um, and then I'll ask you to undo what you did and to do it the right way. And so what would the right way to be? Um, I should ask if I can have a chalk ice. I should ask if I can have crisps. Yeah, that would be the right way to do it. Um, and what will I say? Um, well, you always say no. And I say, well, do I really always say no? I say no when it's not a good idea. You've already had a treat or we're going to have dinner soon. Um, but if I think it's a good idea, I'll say yes. Um, so do we have a deal? It's a rule. We put that in place and every parent knows that that sounds like a lovely way to do things, but will it work? So the next time, you know, Sean or Sarah heads off to, to, to treat themselves, if you catch them, because I know sometimes we don't catch them, but if you catch them, um, you say, Sarah, you're going to the cupboards without asking me. Um, so what's the rule about that? And Sarah says the rule back, oh, okay, ma'am, uh, the rule is I'm supposed to ask and say, yeah, so could you show me? So your child isn't just telling you the rule back, you're getting them to do the behavior. Could you show me the right way to do that? So she says, oh, ma'am, can I have a packet of crisps? And uh, say, well, that's exactly the way to do it. Now, Sarah, in this case, no, you can't. Dinner will be ready in about 25 minutes. Um, but after dinner, maybe we can have a treat. But for now, you can't. Um, it may be that your child has a little bit of a tantrum when they do that. Oh, I knew this wouldn't work. No, it is going to work. Remind them it, it is going to work. But it's kind of a non-conflict way of approaching it. You, you give them a rule. You tell them that you'll have them to state the rule to you and do the rule for you. So the same thing would apply for going to the freezer and looking for an ice cream.